this math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAP and PyCat says, if negative 2 times 2x minus 14 equals 3 times x minus 7, then x equals. So in this case, we're going to be solving this equation for x. That said, on the ASVAP and PyCat, you're not permitted to use a calculator or a reference sheet. So for that reason, I recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and working them out on your own scratch paper. Now, the first step we're going to do in order to solve this one is to take this negative 2 and distribute it here and here accordingly. And at the same time, we're going to take this 3 and distribute it here and here accordingly. Uh, negative 2 times positive 2x, again, a negative times a positive is going to be negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 14, a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. And if you can't do negative 2 times negative 14, uh, mentally, you can always do it off to the side. We have negative 14 times negative 2. Again, we know our result's going to be positive. Uh, 4 times 2 is uh, 8. 2 times 1 is 2. So this is going to be plus 28 equals 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 7, a positive times a negative, is going to be negative 21. All right, so since our goal is to solve for x, we want to get x equal to something by itself. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do in this case is add 4x over here, because truth be told, I like dealing with x's that are positive values. Um, and I'm only going to do this one step at a time. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. These four x's cross out, leaving us with 28 equals 3x plus 4x is going to be 7x minus 20. One. All right, so let's go ahead and move 21 to the other side of the equation via addition now. This crosses out, leaving us with 7x over here. Uh, 8 plus 1 is going to be 9. 2 plus 2 is 4. Again, we want to solve for x, so the next thing we're going to do is divide both sides of this equation by 7 to get x by itself. 49 divided by 7 is 7. So we can see x in this case is 7. So this one is going to be D.